In this video, I'm going to run you through how to set up your streaming and recording settings in the Yolobox Extreme. So to start with, what you'll need to do is connect up the platforms that you want to stream to. In my case, I've only got my YouTube account linked, so I'm going to click the link and change it to private just for what we're doing here. Then we need to sort out our streaming and recording settings. Starting with recording settings, we can come over to the record tab and this is going to tell the yellow box what it is going to record. So in terms of selecting the recording sources, it will only record the program and the HDMI inputs. It won't record things like local videos because in yellow box is mined, they're local. They're not something it needs to capture because they've already been captured in its eyes. So the only one I've got to capture is HDMI 4. So I'll enable that. Your encoding settings you can also access from this menu and that takes you to the record and streaming encoding settings. Now the way I've got mine set up in this screen here is that the streaming encoder is going out at 1080p, but the record encoder is at 4k. The reason I find for that is that the majority of streaming platforms that I stream to, including YouTube, benefit from a 1080p stream. Different with everyone, but that's how it is for me. I would prefer to have a higher resolution internally recorded show and an HD show go out because there are aspects of the show that I might want to use later in editing in 4K. Now, what you'll be able to see in the text that is highlighted in red is what our resolution is, what our frame rate is, how many megabytes a second we're streaming to or encoding at, and then what the wrapper of that is. And in my case here, it's H.265 with a constant bit rate. We go to more settings. You can, of course, change the encode format to H.264, but H.265 is more an efficient codec, especially for streaming. And the encode type you can have between variable bit rate, constant bit rate, or constant quality. I prefer constant bit rate. Now, there is nothing to say that you cannot change your resolution to 4K when you're streaming and 4K recording as well. What you might run into is at the top of the screen here, there is CPU. The more you add in, the more you record and the more you stream, the more CPU you're going to use. And if you get to the 80% mark, you're going to start getting drop frames, which is why I prefer to do my streams in 1080p, but I'll max out the bit rate for that at eight megabytes a second. The record encoding menu works in exactly the same way. You have your encode format, your encode type. You can adjust the bit rate. I keep it at around 28 megabits a second, and I can change the resolution to whatever I want. Bear in mind here that with the Yolobox Extreme, your HDMI outputs are independent of this recording setting. This is for your show only. If you want to adjust your recording settings for your HDMI out or the encode of your HDMI outs, then you do that in the HDMI out settings menu. And here you can see I have mirror out selected. I'm recording via a CamLink 4K. And I am recording in 4K. But when you've got your show set up and all of your recording settings dialed in, click go live at the top of the screen and enjoy live streaming. YouTube thinks you will enjoy this video next.